Hello everybody, welcome to the Dakman Production Studios and again I'm bringing you guys a different video this time around. Um, Harry Heng III, who is one of the members of the YouTube show called the Train Shop Weekly, hosted and sponsored by Hennings Trains, Lansdale, Pennsylvania, called me up and invited me to a get together at the old train farm. And so he's also told me that he invited other YouTube channels to help promote the Run for Fun event, which will be held September 10th and 11th. What is the Run for Fun event? Well, that's where you get to bring a locomotive or your favorite locomotives over to the old train farm and you get to run it and stretch its legs out on the layout and Harry will set you up with some freight cars to run it with. Now the catch is that locomotive does have to have some type of control system on it. Either MTHDCS, Lionel TMCC, or Lionel Legacy. The uh, ERR I believe is also Lionel Legacy or Lionel TMCC. Uh, some of the Atlas O locomotives has Lionel TMCC in it as well. Those should work on the layout. So you do have to have something that's got a control system in it and you got to bring your own remote. So for this uh, invitation, now I got to think, what do I bring? Oh, I'm wearing my Conrail shirt today. <laughs> oh, maybe I'll bring something Conrail. Hopefully Walt's there. It agitates him when I bring Conrail. Well, here's my Lionel Legacy Conrail Norfolk Southern Heritage locomotive. But, uh, no, I want to bring something that's uh, originally Conrail. So many choices. What to bring, what to bring. Well, I've already run my SD7080 Max over at the old train farm. And, well... I've actually run my 70, my SD70 Mac over there, I believe, as well, too. Decisions, decisions. I can pick out my SD60M, my SD38, not sure. Here is a Conrail GP9 that Walt made for me, actually. He uh, sprayed this up like it was getting repainted to Norfolk Southern, just to bust my stains a little bit. He gave this to me a couple years ago. He was afraid I was going to throw it away. But, no, I still have it. I'll keep it. Ah, uh, I know which one I'm going to pick. The SD40-2. My new pride and joy. Yeah, I'm taking this with me. Let's pack it up. So, as I mentioned, I'm going to pack up my Lionel SD40-2 in this box. I'm not going to bother putting it back in its original box. It should be safe enough to carry like that because they are a pain to get in and out of the boxes. Can't forget my controller. Got to take that with me as well. We'll uh, pack up my legacy controller here. So Harry Henning wanted us to meet at Henning's Trains, which is located on South Line Street in Lansdale, Pennsylvania. So make sure to check out Henning's Trains. And here I am, showing Walt my Conrail shirt. So as usual, Walt has a hard time looking at my Conrail shirt. You can see his eyes are closed. <laughs> but anyway, I had some follow-up questions about his train wreck in Oaks, Pennsylvania. Let's find out his response. Hey, Walt, you have any follow-up statements to your train wreck from last weekend? Oh, yeah, I heard about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of strange, but you were kind of very close in the area of that train wreck. Uh -huh. Is he saying it's your fault? That's what he was trying to say at the show, too. It seems so. Yeah. I was way over there. That's what he said. What do you he call? He's over there. <laughs> Somebody was saying to me that they saw my video and thought you were highballing it a little bit and made the train wreck. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> I won't say who that person was. Yeah, but. I, I knew who that person was. <laughs> 
So as somebody mentioned in a store, it was like YouTube Central at Henning's Trains. So up front, you had the Train Shop Weekly crew. You have Harry Henning III, uh, Bill Henning, and Walter Herbine. Then you have Sean's Train Depot, Nick from Nick's Crossing, David from D.A. Griffin, me, Sean from Dakman, of course, Chris from Chris's Trains and Things, uh, Sid's from Sid's Trains, and Burnsies. Uh, sorry, I don't recognize the other two channels. Uh, sorry in advance for that. But uh, yeah, it was like YouTube Central. So it was a nice meetup area before heading over to the old train farm. Let's take a look at a couple things around Henning's Train Store. <laughs> Oh, you got power already to it? I guess so. <laughs> Must be, uh, I don't know if no. it's this one. I think it's... Oh, it's just enough. It's got to be. What is that? 21 inch Amtrak 4 pack. Oh, God. <laughs> I already spent, spent $600 with one of them. Oh, jeez. It's a good investment. <laughs> investment? I love that. That's what I keep telling myself. Dude. It's an investment. Keep my from shooting. <laughs> <laughs> an investment. Anything I buy, I can sell for you. That's an investment that won't return. Yeah, uh, so, yeah. That's why I buy cheap. I think they call that a loss. <laughs> it's, a, <laughs> it's a net loss. <laughs> fix, and then I say I'm going to sell, but hold on to it. Hey, then when it doesn't work, you have a paperweight. Exactly. Yeah. Well, no, uh, where that slides off the this back, so you just destroy it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this engine has been a nightmare. Yeah. Yeah. I think someone at Lino is having a bad week. Oh. <laughs> so they put the whole thing together with uh, wire, t wire nuts without any metals on the inside. I just picked up. Well, let's see it run. <laughs> That's <laughs> too quick. Very. Very close. Let's get the full speed here. <laughs> Don't be afraid to rev it up, Dave. <laughs> Caution first. <laughs> Caution. Safety is number one. <laughs> Especially on unfamiliar rails. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> <laughs> well, it looks like it's actually working. So after some fun at Henning's Trains, we head out to the old train farm, but we have to stop for this SEPTA train at this crossing. So yeah, we gotta stop for this real train. 
Here we go. Set the train in action. Steve from DA Griffin had asked me if there was one thing that I could walk away with out of all these trains in the old train form collection, what would I pick? And hands down, I would pick that standard gauge blue comet set. Would love to add that to Conahay Rail and uh, even build a little standard gauge layout for it. So I do admire that set quite a bit. So here we are at the old train farm. You guys might remember my video tour from there.
This will be on YouTube. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> I showed my girlfriend that. She's like, all right. She's like, you did something funny for once with your brains. <laughs> I was like, well, thanks. So is this Monday run day? No. This is, <laughs> this is Saturday at work. <laughs> Saturday at work? Well, we all get paid on YouTube, right? Yeah, there you go. But it's actually I'm Friday. Working. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I took off. I took So if you like what you're seeing here, get ready for the Run for Fun event, which will be held on the old train farm layout. I'll be putting together a uh, promotional video here in the next couple of weeks with more information. You do not have to be a YouTube channel to participate. It is open to the public, this event. So bring your locomotive and... Uh, Harry will set you up with some cars. So this is a fun event. You get to meet different people, meet YouTube channels, make new friends, even learn something from the expert Harry Henning. Very great show. So Dave, you're actually using remote controls? Oh no, you got proof? Oh yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> not, not my fault there's no GW. <laughs> I always sneak up on people. <laughs> Dave's actually well, using... I might be using it, but I'm not enjoying myself. <laughs> yes, you are. I can <laughs> see. <laughs> so I didn't get to run my Conroe SD40-2 uh, at the Invitational at the Old Train Farm, which is fine. I was too busy uh, mingling with the other YouTube channels, talking trains, shooting video, uh, others running their trains. So a couple YouTube channels did request that I run this on a side because they did want to see it run. So um, I put it on the siding uh, at the old train farm at the loading station and just ran it back and forth the siding and that was for uh, Nick at Nick's Crossing. Um, also Sean from Sean's Train Depot and David from DA Griffin. All three channels wanted to see this thing run. And it is a cool piece. I really, this is uh, so awesome to have in my collection. I'm so glad that I, that I have it and found it. Um, with that being said, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you guys trackside. Goodbye.